used to be being loud, hanging out, making moves all over town. Trying to be cautious, your case of my style. Everybody wanna know what's going down. But that's not how I'm living now. I did a 360 turn my whole life around. Now I room the keys of yeah, I like how that sound. I wanna know the heaven where the no sit loud. Seems like a bird and a chain. People say I'm different since I came out the game. Now they know I'm Christian, so they think I'm a lame. But I don't care because I'm gonna worship your name. All my real life, Christian, throw your hands up. My beauties, it is CC, your frugal goddess. If you would like to see how I created this, I think it looks tasty, tasty little spaghetti uh, meal. This is my daughter's plate, okay? That's why it looks like this. But if you would like to see how I created this meal, um, using spices from www.rawspice.com, please stay tuned for the video. And there you have it. I'll be back with a uh, intro to the rawspice.com and then I will come back with the meal prep. Thank you. Hey my beauties, it is CC, your frugal goddess. I am coming to you today with a product review. Y'all, I know the lighting is terrible. I am in my bedroom. Um, I just want to do this. I'm cleaning. Y'all, I know I look a hot mess, but um, I want to do this review really quick. And this is, um, I will include some actual pictures here and throughout the video so you can actually see better. Wait, one minute. Let me see if I can do something with this. Okay, that's a little bit better. Just a tad bit. Anyway, this is from um, rawspice.com. And they are a raw spice company. <coughs> Excuse me. And... What my package says, now this is what they sent me. They contacted me, asked me about doing a review, and then they said they sent me a, um, they sent me some product or whatever. I never received that product. And so then they came back again and they sent this one. I did receive this in a very timely manner. Um, I want to say a couple of days, okay. And so, again, it's rawspicebar.com. And I'm going to tell you guys what I assumed it was, which I assumed it was spices, like herbs and stuff. And my husband loves, loves, loves to cook with herbs. And he taught me how to cook with herbs. And I, in turn, now cook with herbs. So, and I just opened it. And so I was really correct on what it was. So I have some cumin and oregano rub, which is this. And then I have some freshly ground red chilies. And the last one is... Okay, I can't pronounce this. This is sumac and sesame za'atar. I'm going to let y'all see this one, especially. Because I have slaughtered the name. I'm going to uh, put the correct spelling and everything right there. And so, these are 100% 100% pure spices, freshly ground, all of them. I love the way they're packaged. Now, this is really, to me, this is like a serving size that I would use um, for this one, the cumin and oregano. This is a serving size I would use for a pot of chili, which means I don't have to try to measure it out. I don't have to try to shake You know what I'm saying? Because, y'all, I done destroyed a few dishes, especially back in the day when I was younger trying to cook and the top messes up or whatever and now they're over season my food and mm -mm. so um they include recipe cards this one okay this is the whole roasted sumac uh zatar and okay you rub this on whole cauliflower this is a recipe with it here's another one to use as a to make a flat bread this is for oh this is pozole which is something unless okay this is what I would make which would be the vegetarian pozole and then this one is um, 
recipes for all diet online, your flavor profile, and this is the Navajo kit. Oh, New Mexico cuisine. New Mexico, imagine that. I'm here to tell you, um, you guys, New Mexico cuisine is absolutely wonderful. Okay, it is very, very good. They have diff they have a red chili stew that is to die for, and which is actually what I think I'm going to use the freshly ground red chilies. I think I'm going to actually make uh, the red chili stew with these. So, and it talks about the New Mexico cuisine and what have you. And so, I'm going to include the link down below for all of these. I'm going to include some website screenshots. Um, in the intro and behind this video so you can see the pricing and what have you um, so you can see what they're about and I might just might I'm not exactly sure because I am making spaghetti tonight so I might open up uh, it's a quick spaghetti y'all the meatballs already done I'm using canned sauce that I'm finna docked up and throw some noodles over in there because I have Bible study and then my husband has um a job that he has to get to early so I have to actually leave earlier than what I was planning on leaving so yeah it's going to be some real a really really quick um, spaghetti meal one pot stop but I am going to use the cumin and oregano rub in it it feels really good doesn't feel chunky and so I might uh, include some pictures and some video clips at the end of this video um, in there okay but anywho, check out, be sure to check out rawspicebar.com, okay? And with that, I want you to have a beautiful, blessed day. Remember to be your own kind of beautiful. And y'all know I love you. Later. Did it pause? No. Okay, guys, I am back. And I decided to go ahead on and film on here the little spaghetti dish I'm gonna make I'm gonna use I'm not sure if I'm gonna use one or two of the Hunt's garlic and herb um, spaghetti sauce I am going this is the other one it's garlic and herb then I'm gonna add the Angus beef meatballs these are a hundred percent beef meatballs there's 20 of them in the package and they are flame broil y'all when I tell you this is the simplest uh, meal and then I'm going to add for some spices I'm going to add the cumin and oregano rub from rawspicebar.com and so I'm going to uh, get started on this and I'm going to come back and let you see what's going on I'll be right back okay you guys I am doing this with the camera with a phone and one hand so you're going to have to bear with me. Okay. I know. I already know. A lot of y'all do not believe in sugar in the spaghetti sauce. But I do. And this is one of my uh, older measuring cups. And truthfully, I'm just using this cup for um, the purpose of doing this video. Okay. So, I just went on ahead and I added the sugar. Okay, and the salsa is on. So let me get some little spices out of my cabinet. I'm going to add some garlic powder. I'm going to add some onion powder. And... I'm going to add just a little bit of original, original Creole seasoning, the Tony Catchers. Not going to add a lot um, just because I don't want to. Okay. And we're going to stir that up. Now. <coughs> oh, the spices went up, but those y'all. Okay, and no, I did not cough over my food. Hold on, because I'm finna sneeze. Okay, I did not cough over my food. 
I did turn my head because I know somebody is going to check out this video and make a bunch of rude comments. Um, so wait one minute. Okay, as you can see, my oh, sauce done burnt me, y'all. It popped out. My sauce is cooking. I'm going to turn it down a little bit so it won't pop. Now, this, I opened up the season packet. I probably threw it away already. Of the oregano and cumin season. This is how much was in there. I would say that's approximately a good heaping tablespoon. But because I like my uh, spaghetti sauce. Sorry about that, y'all. Let me put some distance in it. Spaghetti sauce with a lot of oregano flavor. I'm going to add some more of my own oregano. And now if I had just used one can, that would have probably been more than enough oregano. But because I used the two cans, I'm going to go ahead on and add some more oregano. Okay, now I'm getting ready to add the meatballs. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, I only added half a pack, which I put I pulled out 10 meatballs. These are the meatballs. And what I'm gonna do because of the size of the meatballs, and because you know my kids are little, they have healthy appetites, but they are little. I'm gonna wind up cutting the meatballs down, but they were frozen. And the direction said to add frozen meatballs. They are fully cooked. Um, frozen meatballs to the um, to your sauce or whatever. You guys, and let me tell you this. I don't mean to be sarcastic because I know I am being sarcastic about some things. Uh, a couple of years ago, my husband did a cooking video. It was fried lobster tails and... Again, the only people, we don't have company like that. You know, every now and then, one of my son's friends may come over to dinner or whatever. And on top of that, I'm here to tell you, we are not nasty people. And so, I don't actually know what my husband was doing. But, and this is going to sound a little risque. No, I'm not even going to say this in this video. I'm going to say it in another video. Um, because I am going to associate this video with the raw spice bar. But again, he did a cooking video. And it was just some ugly comments on it about something he did. Which, I mean, it was just really... It wasn't even important. You know, they didn't even have to act like that. And I, it wasn't like they were invited to dinner. So if I, if I do, if you hear the sarcasm, that is what the sarcasm is about. Because this is my food, and I'm preparing it the way I enjoy it, and no one is going to eat it but me and my family, okay? And so, you know, I'm just giving you ideas or whatever. But anyway, let me get out of it here so this is not a mile long. I will be back with the um, finished product and how I've chopped the meatballs down once they have... Um, cook down and whatnot. I'm actually going to move this pot to the back aisle and let it simmer on low for about an hour. And then I'll be back with the finished look and everything. With the finished look and everything. And that's it. Later. Okay guys, this is the finished product. This is my daughter's plate. Um, get a fork right here. Her little fork. Um, these are the meatballs and I actually wound up cutting them in fours instead of in half and that is a pretty steel I could have probably cut it up again, but I did want to leave them uh, big enough for my husband to be able to taste Also something I wanted to show you um, This is this is my pasta bowl. I don't remember you guys this thing Was out years ago as a on what is the as seen on TV product? And you cook pasta in the microwave with this. And when I tell you, it comes out wonderful. Now, I do butter, salt, and pepper my pasta in here um, for my spaghetti. Anytime I make spaghetti, I salt and pepper it. And then I add some butter in here and I stir it up. And so, but this, I want you guys, if you see this at Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, um, 
Ross, Big Lots, anywhere. You guys, if you get this, this is well worth the money. You can actually do some uh, one dishes in here. You know, the one pot dishes in here. Uh, it's great for storage of pasta. Um, hold on one minute. Because of the lid, once you store your pasta, you can uh, run hot water over it to loosen it up because y'all know how pasta does when it stores but anyway i am out of here i love you guys i want you to have a beautiful blessed rest of your day remember to check out www.rawspicebar.com again that's www.rawspicebar.com for great spices and everything and i want you to remember to be your own kind of beautiful and don't wait too late. Tell somebody you love them. Later.